Hi, I just went to the office. A little windy, 28 knots. Zuri will be coming to this marina. I just went to the office and uh, they're very like trustworthy because they're like uh, they trust people because they didn't go come to me for two nights already here two nights we're gonna be here one more night and then we're gonna leave so uh, yeah we'll see Francesco is having uh, new customers uh, that's another another guy we met. Like he has, uh, they all have uh, groups groups with uh, people on board. And <clears throat> I would say it's pretty good money. No, it's not a lot of money. If you see what the uh, what the experience is for the people, it's a really nice experience you give them. So a little windy. 28 knots, 29, almost 30 now, okay. Um, we got the, the line of the mainsail snapped. Uh, we got a new line and we eventually pulled it through. So it's, uh, it had some, we had some work to do because we had to go to, through the boom up till the end and then go back again. Like, so this is, yeah, it was some work, but we did it. Uh, proud of it, and yeah, it's like uh, it really, we really needed uh, needed that because we need the mainsail, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm I use the uh, Genoa a lot, but uh, with these winds, you can just reef them in a little bit, and you can fly. It's like it'll be really fast. So uh, yeah. Mainsail back in business, live long and prosper. So I hope you can hear me. Uh, Zuri will be coming to this marina. Uh, there are people on board are some a little seasick, uh, so they will be coming around the corner any time now. And there's only two boats left. Like of all the boats that were here the last uh, days. There's like, I think, uh, almost 10. Uh, most of them left because of the strong winds. And now the Zuri will take a spot over there. And then uh, get into that one and then they'll uh, wait for the... They'll, they'll tell them to wait for a spot in the marina. So, yeah. And I see them. There they are. There they are. They're motoring. Really bashing into the waves. Wow, now they have to get into the wind, so it's gonna be even more difficult. Almost looks like they're gonna skip us. <laughs> There they are! What happened with their sail? Something happened with it. Oh no, they just got it in. 
Zuni is coming in. Man, that's long ago that I saw them. It was in April for the last time. I think. I think it was in April. Zara is on the deck. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> It's been so long, man. Really nice to see you guys. So there's Zuni from the angle of Spock. So Zuri and Spock back in the same place. So we're gonna be we're gonna be meeting the crew of Zuri, Luca and Sarah of course, and uh, with their uh, friends on board. And uh, oh, I'm really excited. It was a long time ago, April or something like that. So what? <laughs> yeah, we'll see each other again. And. Uh, yeah, maybe even cross uh, the Atlantic together. I don't know what their plans are, but it would be nice. So we were just talking about it, and it must have been April since we've seen each other, and there, there we are. Yay! Back together, the Cleopatra Finally. tribe. Yes. Oh, we we're missing. We we're missing Katie and Brian, of course. Uh, but they, they went up to it and went up the coast in Italy already, and. Maybe they're already in France, I don't know. <laughs> no, but it's like uh, good to see uh, some, uh, some familiar faces again. <laughs> so we are on the, on the quay, on the dock, uh, together with Zuri now. We're eating and uh, so we're back together and uh, closer together than ever, the boats. And I'm going to check out the boats that are confiscated over there. Uh, that's probably because of refugees took it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. And then maybe there's another thing going on here. Yeah, confiscated boats look really bad. Like hatches that are broken, like these, the windows are broken. It's all, it's like 45 or, or more foot boats. These two are under American flag. But still they're like, so damaged. Look at this. It's a 51 foot boat. There's no fenders anymore. It's rubbing against the rubber there. 
you got caught a few times on the pipe over here. The boom is off. Hatches are gone. More hatches are gone. You can see inside, it's, it's a really... I don't know this brand, by the way. Cruiser 51, is that Bavaria as well? I don't know. It's called Freedom. Look at the furler. And the American boat as well, the other one, Julia. That still looks okay. This one misses all the hatches. There probably is a lot of rainwater in there as well. Depends how long it is here, of course. Imagine. This one also looks really bad. And there's a Greek boat there. CVYachts.gr. It's like a Bavaria as well. 45, I think, 45 foot. By the rule, we have to, yeah, a lot has to be done on those boats. 47 foot. And they're all open and everything is... Jeez. Yeah. Not really something you can... Uh... I'd probably you can restore them, but it costs a lot of money. And there's another boat also confiscated. This one. So it was probably used as a fishing boat before. And then somebody bought it and they used it to uh, bring people here. and prosper.